that. Oh, this it's is another a preview. One of isopods. It's a preview of our midwater dive. This is a little isopod like one that we saw early in the dive that was on the seafloor wandering about. But they do move in the water column. Right, too. Can come out. So the top of this thing is uh, over here. pretty thoroughly sedimented. And then Nav, ship is moving or stopped or? Ship is Another stopped. Fish. Ship is stopped. Copy that. Um, we do see a fish. Oh, is oh it? pilot, we see a fish. Straight ahead? Straight ahead. What is ah. Wait, what is that? It's making like a long track there. I don't think that's a fish. Wait, I, I'm not that's sure not that that's a fish. That's, I'm not sure that's a <gasps> fish. Oh, is it on the seafloor? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a fish. It's a worm. It's my favorite worm. Oh, fantastic. Whoa. Whoa. I've seen those. We have only seen these on the tops of mud volcanoes so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love yep, these we're guys. We're thinking it's an acorn worm. Yes, wow, acorn what a worm. cool way to end this, this benthic portion of the this dive. This guy's 5,547 <laughs> meters deep, folks. That is amazing. Some lasers on wow. It. I love it. Acorn. These are the ones that we saw... We want Ma making those yeah. Can oh, we, yeah. I'll pick up and get closer, but I can't get oh much gosh, closer. Oh my gosh, how cool that is. That is really amazing. Out. I really like that. Lasers are off. Look at that. Well, actually, I'm going to try to bump a little closer. Okay, um, that would be great. I only have so much tether. Okay, so thank you. That would be fantastic. Good way to end. I like these guys. Joining us on this uh, benthic part of our dive today were Asako Matsumoto from Japan, Chris Kelly, uh, Diva Aman, Les Watling, and Jeff Drazen from University of Hawaii, Debbie Blaney from uh, OER, Ocean Exploration and Research in Silver Spring, Deb Glickson from the Harbor Branch, Florida Atlantic Ooh. University. All right, video if you want to come uh, in. Let me see, let me see, let me see. see. Scott France from University of Louisiana. Bob Carney, oh, that's so awesome. Bob Carney from Louisiana State. Tara Harmer Luke no, from part, Stockton University. Want, let me know. Tina Molotsova from Let's the Peter Shershoff Institute in Moscow. Uh, let me see who else. So we get a Ken uh, Sulak oh, has yeah, called in from time to time. USGS. Sure what are we missing? Just up. Yeah. And just joining us right now so is Liz Shea from the Delaware things. Museum of Natural History. And no doubt Liz is joining us to for participate for the in, the mid, in the mm -hmm. midwater oh, dive. Yes, in the midwater dive. Yep. Heading down. Wow. This is beautiful video yeah, of yeah. this worm. So please um, stay. Really the so. scientists, uh, <laughs> shipboard, or sorry, shore based science team, please stay on the line. We're going to uh, take a short break from the public uh, uh, video, sorry, audio broadcast and have our dive planning call for, for tomorrow's tomorrow. dive. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's great. There's, oh, there's awesome. No there's no, oh, there is a trail. These are your tubes yeah, from yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, for sure, sure enough. Uh, what we were sure looking enough. at earlier well, on those tube zooms Those were poop tubes. That's what Deb Wilson called them. Those poop tubes. tubes. The remains of undigested the material. Dust. So you can see the sediment oh, that's, inside. That's so cool. The, the, the that worm is so cool. All Thank the you. way along its body. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Tara. My goodness, isn't this awesome? I love these worms. Uh, All right, video, let, let me know. All good? Yep. All right. Making its way up the slope to the summit of this little mound on the seafloor that I think is a volcano. So Scott reminds us about our taxonomy, that this is the phylum hemichordata, closer, more closely related to echinoderms than to polychaetes. And by the way, I want to make a correction to something I said earlier because Jeff, one of our first pilots this morning, asked about tunicates and said, aren't they related to us? And I said, they're tunicates. eurochordates. They are eurochordates. They mm -hmm. are in the same phylum as mm -hmm. we are. Mm. So 
I said they were your accordion.